Perry, you wanted to reflect on some classroom instruction that you've done recently in a videotape for your National Board Renewal. Yeah, um, it's been a while since I was in the classroom, so this is a little nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> um, and I was in, I had to borrow a friend's class to do my video for National Boards. And uh, the focus was around writing and getting them prepared for their periodic assessment around literary analysis and analyzing theme. Um, so there was a lot going on in a very short amount of time. So overall it went okay, although it sounds like not maybe quite as well as you wanted it to go. Yeah, it went okay. Um, definitely. It's a lot more challenging when you don't have your own class. So I think if I had had more time to spend with the students co-teaching with my friend, it might have made a big difference because I would have known more about them as far as, especially with regards to pacing. Um, but I think uh, on the positive side, I've learned a lot of strategies since I was certified um, and am more explicit around that instruction. So I think that. You recognize that you've had some growth, and because of that, you're feeling pretty positive about it. You just would have liked to have um, had some more clarity or um, continuity with this particular group of students. Yeah, I think with a little bit more time, I would have seen more of the student learning I was hoping for. Um, I think the other thing that is nagging me in the back of my head is because they are preparing for this district assessment, I didn't want to let them down in their learning. So, so in thinking about some of the particulars that you saw from the students, what stands out for you to um, point to some of that student learning you hope to see? Um, well, I did a write around with the students and um, actually modeled some sentence stems for them. And even though the poems were, they were analyzing two different poems and looking for the recurring theme, and I probably saw the most written response on a write around than I have in the many years that I've done it. So um, in talking with the, uh, my friend, her class, um, she thought the sentence stems really helped in getting them started as far as modeling what it might look like to do a ride around. Mm -hmm. So that was really encouraging. Um, the other thing that was encouraging is I felt like the students were engaged in talking to each other. I'm just not sure about the content that they were talking about. You have some clear evidence that they were engaged by having the writing on the for the write around, and then now you're wondering about um, the student talk. Yeah. So you asked me to collect some data. Mm -hmm. Would you like to take a look at this data? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> One thing that really stands out are, are these students are, are really good at doing the task. Mm -hmm. but you could tell that they were um, engaged. 
engaged in doing the task when, when directed. You know, there wasn't a lot of lag as far as like um, not filling out their notes page or not engaging in the question when they found out who was supposed to ask the question. Um, I think they were still struggling with the theme um, or the finding the recurring theme, but this one quote about um, basically giving the neighborhood a bad reputation, that's, that's a good leading point to what the recurring theme was. I'm, I'm pretty happy to see that. Um, and talked about our neighborhoods being not like us uh, that's similar to the recurring theme as well. So there are a couple places where I can see they're getting to the theme. Um, and definitely um, the video that I picked, I can tell like which students are saying which things because I, uh, there are a lot of um, exceptional needs students in this class. So I really wanted to think about their responses in this group setting and how they interact and how that might relate to um, some of the um, needs that they have, and I can, I can definitely see that here. So this data indicates two things for you. One is that they were um, able to follow through, like you said, with the task, mm -hmm. and that's evident there. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying you're pleased that you are seeing some evidence of some content that you were wondering about. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, um, I wasn't sure if it was going to be there. I was hoping it was going to be there. And I definitely think had I had more time, they would have gotten to that point. So that's also encouraging. They were on the right track. So in reflecting on this data and those two things that were operating for you, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you know that are most important to you in terms of finding that balance in teaching? Um, well, when I created this lesson, I knew that I wanted to make sure that everyone had equal opportunities to participate. Mm -hmm. So having different ways to participate through the ride around and through um, these it was kind of like a modified rotating numbered heads. Um, really kind of mixed the class up a little bit so that they could interact in different ways. Um, and seeing some of the quotes from some of the students that struggle in that class um, is encouraging because they didn't hold back. You know, they weren't um, uncomfortable speaking in, in groups even though um, there are some challenges. Um, and in fact, a lot of the kids that were, their number got picked to share, they are the kids with special needs. So, um, but they jumped right in. And even though their, their um, responses are not necessarily accurate, I think in seventh grade, especially just getting kids to talk to each other is such a critical social skill that um, that really um, is one of the things that I'm trying to meet. I want to make sure all, I meet all my students at their place. So if that means some of them are a little bit off, but they're able to articulate something, they're on their way to getting to, you know, to the content. So. so equity and access is of high importance to you. And your strategies you used were structured to hit that. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So when you think about some of those structural pieces. What was some of the thinking you did in terms of sequencing to provide that support? Um, modeling first. I knew that modeling was going to be really critical. Modeling first, then doing individual work with the right around, but it got shared too in a way that was a little less threatening, and then going into the discussion. Um, providing time to just talk about what they noticed first before actually getting to, okay, so what's the theme? Um, that was really important because some of them, the theme was not apparent for them. So just talking about what they were noticing, I think, was a critical way to get them into the conversation. Your 
were describing how um, another, along with that value of equity and access, is um, that students are allowed to have their voice wherever they are. When you think about um, this data and those particular students, what do you think they walked away saying about this lesson? Well, they're seventh graders, so I think one, they liked the little sticks that I handed out for the numbered heads. There was a lot of, um, they liked pulling the cards and getting the mm -hmm. sticks. <laughs> uh, so that kinesthetic kind of um, was really, they really liked that. Until they found out that they were the one that had to talk, and they were not as keen <laughs> on having the number of sticks. <laughs> um, I think, I'm sorry, what's the question? Mm -hmm. I lost the question. What they might have been walking I'm away, walking away with. Think, saying about. I think they probably would remember most is the ride around. So talking about the ride around based on just how much they put in it. Um, and then my hunch is if you were to ask them what they talked about, they would say a poem where you don't, they would try to articulate the theme. Mm -hmm. So uh, you don't judge a book by its cover, or you don't judge people it was such a prevalent statement in their conversations. And it's almost the theme, it's, it's like almost there, um, that I think it was repeated so many times that if you were to ask them, they might actually repeat that. So they might be able to say back a theme that really makes sense to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's some of the learning that you're having right now in I'm really, I kind of wish that I just had like 20 more minutes with them because I think they're really close to getting that recurring theme. But I'm, I'm happy to see that there's evidence of it in their conversation. I think the scaffolding um, with the ride around, I'm really happy that I did that because I think that really worked for them. And when I think back to the discussion part of the activity, there was less modeling. So I think that that may have made a difference in the kind of talk that they produced after the round. Something that you're noticing that was different is how you modeled one strategy versus the other mm -hmm. strategy. Mm -hmm. So what might you want to apply in terms of your thinking around this? lot to write about, so that's, that's good. Um, I think I'm going to have to really focus on that access and equity piece uh, because some of the clips that I chose, like the one about the quote being from Hamlet, is so kind of out there, but it's very representative of that group of boys. So um, talking about meeting students where they're at and not, you know, shutting them down just because they're bringing up a very random quote in the middle of this lesson. Um, but if I keep focused on the fact that that was my goal, that my goal was to meet the students where they were at to get them to this, this recurrent theme, that, that I should be able to find enough evidence to do that. You know that if you match um, your goal with the evidence, that that's what's going to be most important for you to supported you in this process? Identifying that my intent, even though I had learning goals, you know, that were content-based, that really my intent was around the equity and access piece and meeting students where they're at, I think is going to really help guide the writing around this. So it was nice to put that label on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that concept label or those words resonating for you that that might be a, a direction to focus on.
take a moment.